Hi, and welcome back. I got kind of a big box here from Jackson Art Supplies. And I got flickering lights again. So, let's grab a pair of scissors and open this baby up. I ordered a few things from Jackson's. And, um, these are all things that I can't get here anyway, anywhere in this country. Not at one place at least. There we go. So, um, it's no secret there's some paper in here. There's also something else that I ordered. Gosh, man, they use a lot of cardboard. Yeah. Now I can't see what I'm doing. So, I know what's in there. I'll save that for now. So, here's the paper I ordered. Let me get those out and toss the cardboard box out. So, PWP 300 Hot Press. I think I need the the receipt for this. I ordered a full sheet and Jackson has a cutting service so you can have the full sheets cut down either in halves or quarters and I asked for them to, to cut it down to quarters of the full sheet. So uh, let me grab the receipt. And I need scissors again because that is glued to the outside of the box. I'll show you because my name and address is on here. I guess I can fold this down. So, <sighs> PWP 300 hot press. That is Windsor and Newton on here because I better keep this paper in this bag. And that's the professional. That's a 300 hot press there. I can buy this actually in Denmark, but I can only get it in pads, and then it is insanely expensive. So it was much more of a deal for me to, to buy it from, from Jackson's in, in full sheets. I'm cutting things up anyways at the moment, so. And this is one that I bought two sheets of, um, and there was a couple of those I did. P P. X 148. This is Sondo Waterford. Highlight. And it is this. And it's a hot press, 140 pounds or 300 GSM. 
I got the the normal hot press from them. That is slightly off white. This is the same. It has just been bleached, so it's high white. And I have tried this. I know this, so I felt comfortable about buying two sheets of that. This is also St. Cuthbert's paper. This is botanical. Ultra smooth. And it is 300 GSM. This is... Um, it's a very nice paper and I've tried I got a sample of it that I have tried out and I really really like this paper so again I was comfortable buying two two sheets full sheets of that and once I've cut it down I will have pretty much I a pad of paper and this I also bought two of and uh, this is also a um, a Cuthbert's Mills paper. This is Buckingford. And again, 300 GSM. Hot press. So, um, <laughs> out of four types of paper, I bought three um, from St. Cuthbert's Mill. And that is, <laughs> it's not an obsession, <laughs> I swear, <laughs> not much. No, I really like the, the paper that St. Cuthbert's Mill makes. And they actually have yet another type of paper called Milford that I like too. But I don't think they make that in hot press, to be honest. And um, I really, really like their papers. So that's why I bought so much of that. The Winston Newton. I've tried a little bit. I haven't quite made up my mind about what I think of that. So now I have a sh one sheet of that. In here is the extras that I've been buying. I was paying for the shipping anyway. So. I have long wanted the dioxin purple for of the golden high flow acrylic paint. If you have followed my channel, you know I have, what, 12 other colors of this. And Dioxin Purple is one of the colors that I really have grown dependent on. I'm going to pause the camera because I'm going to show you something else. So, last year, or the year before, I bought this black box of Winston Newton Artist paint. No watercolor paints. And I bought a, it's a 24 set that I have squeezed a couple of extra pans in. When I got this set, the Prussian blue and the Viridian green didn't work. I still got the Viridian green in here, and it's so hard to get out of the pan. I bought another pan of um, a Prussian blue because that's one of the colors I use a lot. I haven't changed this. Then I took out the white and the black that was in here. And then I've added some extras. And with two out, I could add four colors. And I have here a um, golden green, I think it's called. Green gold. And because I don't like these yellows, I bought this one. This is a bismuth, bismuth yellow. Yes. And what is this? That was in there. This was in there. And then I bought this one, which is Cadmium Scarlet. One, two, three. And what else did I put in here? I put in something else. Over here, I think it is, it is a sepia. I don't know how they could make a set without a sepia color. Um, so, um, so I've been modifying it a little bit. There's two colors in here that I still don't like. I don't like the lemon yellow. This is too opaque and it has kind of a weird milky effect. And this one is aureolin. I don't know if that's correctly pronounced. And this is a pigment 
that goes, uh, it, it, it's not light fast, it, it goes uh, brown over time. And then there's a couple of colors I actually do like, but I, I want out of my, my set in time. I'm just going to stick these pants in here and I'll probably try and use them. There's sap green and olive green. And I'm going to eventually replace that viridian, but for now I'll probably leave it. So what I've been buying is replacements for some of these colors, or all of those colors. So I'm going to change my palette around. I bought a perylene violet, and I expect that to fit over here, along with a potter's pink. I like earth colors. I could mix them, but I'm lazy. Then I bought a new gamboge yellow instead of, of this. Actually, not instead, because I replaced my cold yellow with the bismuth yellow, which is a cold yellow. I have here a Windsor yellow, but I really like the new gamboge. Even though new gamboge is, is a mixed pigment color, but I am... I'm doing some exceptions. So, a tiny little pan. There's a little, it's like ca little candies. I'm trying to, to get to the point where I have mostly single pigment colors in here. I'm gonna use that because I need all the data on that when I need to make a new swatch chart for my, see, <laughs> it looks brown. And then I have an Indanthrain blue. This should be my should be a French ultramarine. Yes. And my phone. Hang on. So let's open this Indanthrain blue. I bought this a while back in um, a sminky version of this, but I wanted on my Winsor Newton palette as well. Oh man, this... Why is it that you can never open anything while the... like a person when the camera is running? Everything sticks and gets weird when you're trying to show somebody. Oh, come on! And then three blue. I'm looking forward to swatching these out. And uh, Potter's Pink, I wanted to, to try out for the longest time. It's kind of an earth tone pink. Are you going to be goofy too? Well, let's just go straight to the scissors. Before I know it, I have poked a hole in my fingers or something. Ah, come on! Don't be like that. It's glued onto the the pan, that's why. There we go. And the last bit. Potter's pink. I guess I should tighten up the tabs here. And perlin violet. I bought perlin ma maroon. Uh, I got that over in my box where I keep my schminke. And oh, that was fantastic. Now I'm trying other maroon uh, parallel colors out. And this is the violet. So 
I'm, I'm keeping these because all the light fasteners and whatever else information is on there. So, that is my reviewed palette. And I don't mind the greens, it's just that they are convenient colors and I can mix. I got so many blues and yellows and stuff that can make greens. So I don't need convenient greens on here. I might get the Aviridian because that's a single pigment green. But, uh, yeah. Over time, uh, this will be totally customized to my personal liking. So let me get a... I had a pad for swatching. And I had it handy. And now it's gone. Two seconds. There it was. So, let's play with colors. I'm gonna save this for another time. But let us check out these. Gamboge. A really nice, warm, bright yellow. I got this in my set of uh, what they call they are called when cutman paints so let's try this with some this is a flato blue green shade and Winsor Newton colors they call it Winsor blue green shade it's like they have taken all the best pigments and then they call them Winsor something the Winsor red is a Pearline. No, pearl red. So yeah, so the new Gambos makes really nice greens. Even though it's a warm. And here's Prussian blue. Makes darker green. It should make fabulous oranges as well. See how rich it is and I barely even touched the pan. So let's try with that. This is the scarlet. Cadmium scarlet. Yes. Brilliant orange. Very, very nice orange color there. I think this is a lizard crimson, or yeah, it's no, it's a magenta something. Let's see what that does. Makes a very nice burnt orange type of color. Peachy if you thin it out. So, yeah, so new gamboge is, is really a fantastic color. In and three blue. Oh, this is a colder blue than, by the looks, than the. I wish I could talk. Then, then the uh, schminke. Let's mix it in with some of that magenta there. Awesome. That's a nice move color. Here's a pearl red that they call Windsor red. That's more orange, so it makes more of a dusky gray purple. But that blue is, is nice also in its on its own right. That's quite nice. Let me try and thin it out. Yeah, that's, that's a good blue. I like that. So what else did we get? We got the Potter's Pink. Yeah, that 
that's that's very delicate I think that's one color that won't be a good mixing color to be honest even the mass tone is kind of delicate but it is a uh, could be used for like heather or something like that in a landscape painting or it could be used as a base color for some some skin tones some blush and stuff not that I do a lot of people but and here's the Pearling Violet. Oh yeah, that's Violet. Oh, that's Plum Violet. I love this. That's fantastic. I love this. That's a color. I could probably mix it, but it's very nice to just have it right out of the pan. So how if we put this with the... Wow, and it mixes uh, nicely in with that inner train blue. Makes it really deep, nice dusky purple. I like that. I like that. So let's try. Happens if we put magenta in here, it gets even more rich. Wow, that is uh, <sighs> love this. I could just sit and mix colors all day. I love that game. Game of colors. What happens? I want to try a little bit of magenta with the Potter's pink. Oh yeah, as I expected, that, that took over completely. Let's try here. I got a Pamela Delisserin Crimson. That might not be quite as overpowering. Oh, that works. I'm curious, I got a... Uh, this is Yellow Ochre. Uh, with that potter's pink there. Yeah, those two could work well together. Yeah, I like this. I really quite like this. Gamboge. And then drain. <gasps> what a green that made. Look at this. That is fabulous. So what does it do? That. Pearlin. Violet. It gives quite a golden mixture. Oh, it's, it's like a golden brown. Nearly like a quinacridone rust or something like that. That's and then when it's more yellow, it goes a little greenish. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think that's uh, those are great additions to my Winsor Newton palette. I could sit here and now I got 26, 28, I got 30 colors in here. And um, yeah, I could sit here and mix all day. But it's a good idea when you get new colors and, and try them out along with some of the stuff you already got on your palette. I think this is a English red or something. So you get to know them. Also try some of the mixtures you, you maybe 
didn't expect to work. That's sepia. That's for the pair. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I'm I'm sold on Perlin colors. They are fantastic. I can get Perlin green as well, which is the blackish green, and I'm actually considering putting that in instead of the viridian green. So I might go and buy myself a pan of that. This is fantastic. Now, now I really, I really, really can do everything I want and need to with this palette. It's brilliant now. So that was kind of what I I wanted out of this palette. So I will probably start using this this set more because there has been some some things I didn't like. I was really unhappy with the selection of yellows when I got it. But now I got the yellows that I want on here. And um, and I like these deep colors, like that perlin violet is fantastic. So um, yeah, and uh, yeah, you saw that I got four kinds of paper today. That means I have four more color water color paper tests to do, and I got two more types of watercolor paper coming in the mail. And an extra supply surprise when when I get the package from um, Amazon on Monday. So um, I'll be busy painting and talking. And uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. <laughs>